The countdown is on in earnest to the canonisation of Mary MacKillop. In just a few days, Australia will have its first Catholic saint and thousands of pilgrims are converging on Rome to witness the historic event. From the Vatican, Europe correspondent Philip Williams reports. The Vatican is rarely short of a crowd, but as Sunday nears, there are thousands more Australian accents as the great Mary MacKillop pilgrimage gains momentum. Yes. And they're joining me on Saturday. So. Included are many Indigenous Australians anxious to honour a woman who helped the poor and educate the children, ignoring the common prejudice of the day. Being an Aboriginal woman, I can relate to many of the things about her life, the struggles. And for me, you know, it's just an honour to be part of the group that's been able to come. Not only are the seats ready for the ceremony in St Peter's Square, so is Kanga too, a mobile consulate to help any of the estimated 8,000 Australian pilgrims. On hand, our ambassador to the Holy See, Tim Fisher. She achieved so much for the betterment of education, the betterment of Indigenous, the better of poor people all over. Australia. Sunday's ceremony is the culmination of 85 years of hard work by supporters of Mary MacKillop and the approval of the last two pontiffs. As postulator charged with promoting the MacKillop case, Sister Maria Casey is about to see the dream come true. Just recognition for a woman who offered education and hope for the poor even before Australia was a nation. For me it is something that speaks about the triumph of goodness. Mary was a good woman. For a church whose reputation has been battered by revelations of child sex abuse, Mary MacKillop's sainthood is seen as a welcome opportunity to boost confidence and falling congregations. The Catholic Church is hoping that when this ceremony starts, it will be a new beginning and that the life and work of Mary MacKillop will be inspiration to all Australians, not just the true believers. Philip Williams, ABC News, the Vatican.